Good morning, Diamond Royals. I'm back with another prophetic word filled with the precious Holy Spirit. If you like the content I'm putting on my channel, please like, comment, and subscribe and share with those that you know that may need to hear this inspirational message. So it's, it's very early where I'm at, y'all. Like extremely, extremely early. But this topic, I chose to do it early. Well, I got some free time right now because there's a lot of comments I've been seeing in a comment session regarding this topic. And I'm going to be led by the Holy Spirit and I'm going to go to the scriptures, certain scriptures on how will we deal with these matters when it comes to family. How to deal with your toxic family members is the prophetic word on today. Um, toxic and disrespectful family members. I'm sorry. Um, there's a there's so much going on in these last days that somebody's comment yesterday on one of my comment sessions kind of put me in a certain energy. It wasn't bad energy, but it put me in her shoes. You know, I don't know who you are. I think she. I think you mentioned you if you're watching this video this person mentioned they were from washington dc okay and she shared with me some some heartbreaking stuff that she just recently went through with her family and i too i too y'all have been through some weird horrible things with family so i really wholeheartedly can put myself in y'all shoes on when y'all go through when it comes to toxic and disrespectful family especially when you're over a certain age okay everybody on this channel might be over a certain age y'all might be over 30 watching this video over 40 over 50 and you still dealing with foolishness from your own blood relatives this is a problem to god and what's going on but i'm gonna tell you guys through wisdom what is best for some of y'all to just do and it's going to be a hard pill to swallow this video. And this video is not going to be short. And I will give examples from my own life when it's time to snip, snip and cut cords with toxic, disrespectful family. There are certain times and God will give you nudges on when it's time to just let the relationship go. And don't look back in certain instances. Okay. Family can be your biggest. When I say your biggest haters. Your biggest, um, what, what can I, how can I say this? That can be your biggest enemy. That's, that's the only way I could put it. That can be your biggest enemies. When it comes to your life progress, your life purpose, and who you are as a divine person in Yah. Yes, they can. And I am so, this is a serious message because somebody needs to be delivered. A lot of y'all probably need to be delivered from y'all family or y'all blood relatives, okay? They are not supposed to have that type of control over your life destiny like that. Like I said on my last video, only Yah has that control over your life. And you need to make sure you're doing right by him. Your blood relatives is not God. I don't care how much they said they raised you. They try to maze you a certain way. They, they want you to be like this because they like this. And uh, they're not God. Okay. God might have a totally different plan for you than your family had for you. Your blood, your toxic, disrespectful blood relatives. Yeah, you just watching this video. They are mad because they cannot control you, some of your family members. You not doing what they want you to do. You not as vibrant like your sister or your brother. So you are considered the black sheep of the family to your toxic, miserable family members. Yeah, I've been through that. I've been called the black sheep by a family member. And this family member was downright disrespectful. When I say disrespectful, this person couldn't say two words to me today. If he was out homeless on the street right now. Yeah, I'm saying it. I'm being honest with y'all. Because the disrespect went up to here when it comes to certain one of my blood relatives and family members. I personally, y'all, don't deal with my blood relatives. I don't deal with family. And I got plenty of reasons why I shouldn't. And God one day just said, Ashley, cut the cord and go on about your business. And I did. 
Now, I'm a motivational speaker for y'all trying to get y'all to the Holy Spirit. And if you guys let these people go, that don't mean you no good. And these people can be your blood relatives. It broke my heart. It broke my heart to see in the comment section a woman telling me that she traveled miles and miles away from her family to her family. Why her one of her relatives is um going through an illness and they made her out the problem and she got into a fight with her older brother and got kicked out the house and was told that the family shouldn't speak to her no more. This is the type of stuff your blood relatives will do. Okay? You got to understand that there's different spirits that, that roam in people, y'all. There's different spirits. You got spirits of envy. You got spirits of jealousy. You got spirits of witchcraft. All this is roaming around in your family bloodline, okay? I pray this word is delivering somebody because y'all need to be delivered from y'all toxic family. Just like I needed to be delivered. And God delivered me because I cried out by myself to get away from these miserable folks that gossip, disrespect. That, that's another spirit. Gossiping spirits. Negative spirits gossiping about you around the family. So everybody can be against you as the chosen one of God. But they don't know you chosen. No, God don't work that way. No. He take the ones that's despised the most and treated the most wretched and transform that life for the better. God will do that. Y'all got to believe that by faith. Family, your blood relatives, your kin folks, however y'all want to use, however y'all want to call them, can be the worst when it comes to your destiny and you getting back righteous and holy towards your heavenly father because they knew you. And they the closest to you. So they know how to push all the right buttons. All the right buttons to get under your skin. Because they know you. <laughs> but they really don't know you. Because once you changed and got filled with the Holy Spirit and transformed into Yah. You became a whole new creature in Christ. You became a whole new individual. You're not the same, but they still look at you the same because they only see you as how they knew you. Your toxic blood relatives. It breaks my heart when I see y'all in the comment section when y'all tell me that y'all family performs witchcraft on y'all or they gossip or they turn people against you within your own family. So you will have nobody. Y'all are not dogs. Okay. I cannot stress that enough. You guys got the Holy Spirit in y'all. And sometimes the Holy Spirit lighting you is way too bright for these folks. Y'all hear that ambulance going? That's, that's confirmation. That ambulance going as a, so this is like an urgent mansion that needs to be heard. This is an alarm going off about what we going through with toxic family members in these last days but there are certain scriptures in the bible that will let you know that these are the times we're living in for that to happen when it comes to blood relatives if you go to matthew i believe it's chapter 24 don't quote me on that when i get it because i don't have my bible with me right now but yeshua spoke on the last days and how it's going to be he said it's going to be mother against daughter father against son cousin against cousin everything you could do uncle against niece everything you can think of regarding the immediate family he also said that he did not come to bring people together in peace he came to bring a sword and divide the members of your own household to be against you why did he say this? Now, it took me about five to seven years to figure out this scripture. And I'm just now figuring out why he said this. Listen to me closely. Listen to me closely, children. Because y'all need to be delivered in these last days from your toxic, disrespectful family. Listen to me closely. Why did Yahshua say this in the last days? He said it because everybody's not serving Yah in spirit and in truth. That's the prophetic message I got today. And it's scary to think about it that way. 
you can have a mother, a son, and a father in a home together. All three of those members of that family is going to be divided in the last days. Because why? Because two of them are probably serving Satan and the devil in the world, doing worldly things. And one of them is really serving God in spirit and in truth. So there's going to be conflict there. Because light and darkness are at a clash at an all-time high in these last days. And it could be divided within the kinfolks of your family in your household. He said, remember, he said, your enemies. I'm going by the scripture, the New Testament. Your enemies will be members of your own household. Okay? That's just how it is. I need y'all free from this glory. Hallelujah. I need y'all free from this during this time. Because a lot of y'all, y'all cannot get to the purpose that God wants for y'all in y'all life. Because your family, you are being held back by your family. God wants you free from these folks. If they're not listening to the Holy Spirit, they're not going to listen to you. They going to make you out to be the enemy because they got that type of spirit up in them. Y'all cannot be, y'all cannot worry about that though. But there are certain clues and signs that you know you need to depart from your family. Okay. I'm going to go to the scripture first, back in the Old Testament. I think I've mentioned this before, but I got to keep representing again. But I don't think I really got into it on how I should reference it, this video. And then I'm going to take some examples from my own life to help y'all, okay? When it comes to your kinfolk and how they are and how they really are. They can't say sorry and apologize and respect you. That's a sign right there that you need to go and leave these folks. They can't respect you after you would have already told them you want to be respected. And they still can't do it. Go, leave them for good. Don't worry about how they feel. Let God deal with them folks. Because <laughs> he going to deal with them. Not on your time, but on his time. But they going to be dealt with. Trust me on that. Wickedness going to be dealt with. God looking at everybody's heart. Your job is to forgive them. Tell them how, you, how they treated you. If they don't want to listen to that, you go on about your business. Close that door to your toxic kin folks. You had the story of Abraham and Lot back in Genesis. This is the first, uh, this was the first conversation that, that Yah spoke about your kin folks. This was the very first with, with his servant Abraham. Abraham was a prophet of Yah. He was his prophet. Okay. Abraham wanted to bring Lot, his, his nephew, along with him. Okay. Um, Lot ended up settling in Sodom and Gomorrah, and then Abraham went somewhere else, okay? But there was a particular conflict that happened on why they were separated, okay? Abraham had his people with him. He had his wife, he had his servants, he had everybody with him, and he brought Lot, his nephew, along with him, and Lot had his people. There was a conflict between Abraham's people and Lot's people. That caused Abraham and Lot and get get into a dispute. Okay, I'm talking about a dispute. No, it's not going to cover everything for detail, but you can just about guess how family can be, and when you're dealing with other people other than you, especially when it comes to where y'all going and what y'all got to do for y'all life purpose. There was a fight that happened between Lot and Abraham, the servants, and all of them people. God separated them two. Abraham said, you know what? You take everything. You go your way, Lot, and I'm going to go my way. I'm going to go my way. It's time for you to go, Lot. It's time for you to go. Can you imagine a, a uncle having to tell that to his nephew based off a of disrespect and a dispute that happened between them two people and they servants amongst them? Okay? Lot went to Sodom and Gomorrah, and you already know what happened with him when he went off to Sodom and Gomorrah because he wasn't, Lot wasn't following when Yah's plan for Abraham's life. He was supposed to follow the path of Abraham. He chose to not do that. Him and his servants. So they had to go away. That was the first story. Prior to that happening, Yah told Abraham, get away from your kinfolks 
and go to a place that I might show you so I can bless you there. Why did Yah tell Abraham to get away from his kinfolks? Because they were not following Yah's ways like Abraham was. <laughs> you got to say he's the creator of this earth. He knows everybody's hearts. God knows everybody's hearts. He told Abraham to get away from them folks. He can't bless them around them people. They still want to drink, party, be wild. Yeah, you know how y'all family can be. Y'all know how y'all family can be if y'all chosen. Y'all know how these people can be. But sometimes we get blinded because they are kin folks. But we're not really seeing them how God's seeing them. <laughs> because they're your kin folks. But they're rotten. They're miserable. They gossip. They're toxic. They do witchcraft spells on y'all. They do all type of foolishness. But we can't see it because they are kin folks. Oh, but that's my mom. Some of y'all have said. Oh, but that's my cousin. It don't matter. If y'all, if they're not serving y'all the right way, and they're not right in their heart, and they doing foolish things that they still been doing for over 10, 20, 30 years, that's a sign from God right there that y'all need to separate. You don't need to be around these folks. Get away from them. You travel miles and miles away to go see your family. And I have to have done that. And they continue to disrespect you after you spend all your money coming to see them and helping the system. But because another family member says something negative about you. Now all this gossip about you in a negative way. But you the only one that's helping your family. But they despise that and crap on you. That's another sign you need to break ties with your kin folks. The respect ain't there. How many signs do y'all need from y'all to let y'all know that y'all need to let these folks go? You don't need that many. Sometimes it will cost you your life and your mental health dealing with folks that don't even respect you. And it could be your kin folks that's doing it the worst. So how do you deal with these people? How do you deal with these people? Cut them off. Cold turkey. Yeah, I know y'all wouldn't expect me to say that. Cut them off cold turkey. Don't think, don't, you ain't got to apologize. They ain't apologize to you when they was disrespecting you. Go to another state. Go about your business. That's what I had to do, y'all. I got tired. And there was one incident that let me know that I need to let all these miserable, toxic folks go within my family bloodline. Yeah, it happened to me. It happened to me. My brother and my dad get into a, a physical fight, an altercation. Mind you, my brother ain't spoke to me in about five, six years because my mother and father, yes, my mom and dad was turning the family against me and talking negative about me. She doing that, she out here doing that, she doing that, she doing that, she, everything negative you could think of. Now, everybody looking at me sideways in the family. Brother and sister won't even call me as the oldest sibling. Won't even call me. But as soon as they have a problem, who door they, who doorstep they at? They at yours. Three, four years ago, my brother and my dad decided to get into a physical fight over a petty reason. This is what happened to me back two years ago. Very petty. Okay? I ain't spoke to my mother in three, four years. Don't even call me or text me. Still to this day, don't call me or text me. And still haven't apologized what him and my dad did. Still haven't. So I about went left. And I did go left. I had every right to go left because after, after my whole life, after 30 years, I'm tired of my mom and dad. I'm tired of them in a negative, toxic energy and whatever the heck is wrong with them with their relationship. That's what I got tired of in, within my family bloodline. I'm sick of it. I'm getting too old for this. Forget what y'all got going on. If you guys still miserable in y'all marriage and y'all relationship, don't, don't include me in it. I got better things to do. I got better things to do. This I was worried about y'all because I'm really not worried about y'all. These are my parents. Yes. These are my parents. Brother comes to my house. Me and dad got into a fight. What y'all fighting about? I knew it was some, I knew it was some BS. I'm going to say BS because that's what it was when I heard it because I'm used to it now. I know my family. I know how my mom and dad act. I know how they are and I know what it is because they did it to me. That's why I'm not there. 
That's why I left at a young age. And this is what I was trying to get my brother, my youngest brother, to understand. I don't know. It went in one ear and out the other, I guess. <laughs> He telling me for five hours the fight they went through that cops got called and woo, 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 woo. Okay. Now I'm irritated because I know it shouldn't be this level of foolishness. And y'all, y'all disrupting my home and my peace in my home with y'all mess. And I'm not even there. Don't want to be there. Don't want to be there. Now I'm in a whole new state. God is good. God is good. I'm in a whole new state away from all my family. I don't deal with kin folks, y'all. So it breaks my heart hearing y'all in these comments about y'all family because I know how they can be because mine are like that. So, next thing you know, after two weeks go by, I'm cooking food for my brother, y'all. This is how disrespectful your family can be. Cooking food, treating him like a baby brother that he is, just happy that he's around me and he's talking to me. One day, he said he was going to work. He's going to go to St. Louis, get a job, woo, 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 woo. Then come back to my home after eight hours saying that something happened. He need to talk to his job. Oh, me and dad worked it back out. I'm going back home. What? Now, mind you, I heard this negative toxic stuff for two weeks on when he told me that him and my dad was doing what was going on and the fight that was going on between him and my dad. The cops got called and he needed a place to stay because cops got called on my brother. Yeah, my dad called the cops on my brother and almost got, and my brother was sharing with me how he put all the money into the house. Similar to what I did when I was in my early 20s. Putting all the money into the home. But my dad and my mom choose to disrespect, but yet he's he busting this tail over the road. Spending his hard-earned money to help them in their marriage and their household. As a grown 26, 27-year-old man. Dad walked outside and popped him in the head. And then they started fighting. Yeah, that happened in my family. I get put in the middle of the drama. Family already don't like me, but I get put in the middle of their toxic drama. And this is why I can't stand kin folks. I can't stand them. Because they could be the worst. And the Bible tells us they can be the worst. They can. And next thing you know, me and my dad gets into it. Over him and my brother's dispute originally. My dad decided to hit me in my skull three times. Do, do, do. This was my blood relatives. Yes, it happened to me. Two years ago during the pandemic, right after the pandemic. Mind you, y'all, I was in grad school when this is going on. I'm in grad school. Trying to go to grad school. It messed up my whole year that year. I got out of grad school for that reason. Another reason. Because I just didn't want to be in the program I was in. Which was school psychology. I didn't like what they were telling me in the school's orientation. Uh, the cl That particular class. About what I'm going to be doing. And how much I'm going to get paid. And oh you can't sit. Because it's a lot of other stuff. You know. You're not going to be considered a psychologist. But yet I'm working on my master's and a specialist degree. I did, it was a lot of stuff. But that was like one of the main incidents that happened to me. I was in grad school, y'all, and my family messed that up just like that over a dispute that happened between my dad and brother. Not only did my dad punch me in my head three times that had me thinking in a very negative way that I was thinking thoughts, y'all, I'm not going to lie, I want to take him off the earth. Similar to the comment that I heard in my comment section that you want to go after your brother, you that spoke with, with a weapon. I can, because your family will take you there. They can take you there. Yes, they can. Yes, they people too. Yes, they can. Yes, they can. Especially if the relationship is toxic and they got toxic energy. I don't deal with no toxic folks ever since this incident. You bringing that toxic negative energy, and this is why I delete those type of comments off my page. I'm not trying to hear it. Get off my page with your foolishness. I have dealt with toxicity with my family my whole life and people I grew up around in my hometown of Illinois that I don't want to deal with it no more in my 30s. Am I wrong for being this way? Because I choose to go a different path. I don't want to be toxic and miserable like these people. Even my own kin folks. I don't. I just don't. I don't. I'm not saying I'm perfect. But I don't want to be like that. That will bring y'all energy down dealing with folks like this. But not only did he hit me in my skull, he made a comment 
And this is a true story. I will bust you in your skull like I did your uncle back in the day. The demonic spirit I saw through my dad telling me this and hate in his eyes towards me. Mind you, the incident ain't even start with me. Oh, yeah, you know God whooping this behind right now. Because now I'm out of state and they can't ask me for nothing no more, my, my toxic family. Oh, yeah, God going to deal with these people. Don't think he ain't going to deal with your kin, folks. It might not be on your time, but he going to deal with them. These folks going to get old and gray. They might have something happen to them. I'm not wishing nothing on nobody. I'm just saying how we go. They might, you might be the one that need to help them. Why they getting old in their life and ain't got nobody to wipe they behind. And now because they messed up with you, the Holy Spirit person you are, they can't even call you because y'all separated you from that foolishness and he don't want you to go back. When God deliver you away from people like this, you don't go back to that. No, I don't care because they're your family. I don't care because they're your family, y'all. They can be the worst. Your family can throw you in jail, okay? The story of Joseph and his brothers tell us this. How many times do I have to say this on my station? I've been talking about this for a while. Joseph brothers threw him in prison and sold him into slavery. His brothers. You can't tell me your family ain't going to do that to you. It's in the scripture. <laughs> when you got Yah's divine Holy Spirit in you, these folks, it's, it's spiritual, y'all. They get ratchet. They get straight up ratchet against you. They don't care. It's spiritual. They ain't got the Holy Spirit in them like you got that in you. They ain't got it. They act like they got it. They ain't got it. Because if they did, their fruits will show it. Their fruits is going to show the spirit that's in them. I got sick of my family, y'all. I got sick of them. Now I'm walking in purpose that God got for me when I separated these folks. My peace came back. And I still dealt with some more mess through other people. But that was like the first start of my peace coming back, letting go of my family. I kid y'all not. I wouldn't be an inspirational YouTuber for y'all, a motivational speaker, inspirational Holy Spirit speaker for y'all if I still was dealing with toxic stuff from my family. I wouldn't be here talking to y'all today to lead y'all back to the Heavenly Father because I still would have been entertaining my toxic family, fighting with them, gossiping, arguing with them all day. I had to shut it down. You got to shut it down. Shut it down. Tell the devil no more. No more. Going about it their way. Tell the devil going about this way. Get behind you. Get thee behind me, Satan. Because yes, yeah, Satan can use y'all kin folks to come against y'all. Try the spirits by the spirit of the heavenly father, the Holy Spirit. That's how you would know. Energy does not lie. Energy don't lie, y'all. These folks showing y'all how they feel about y'all. Stop making excuses because they're your kin folks. But this is how you deal with them. You cut them off cold turkey. Don't deal with these folks. Sometimes you don't need an apology. Sometimes you just need to move forward. Don't look back. If it's meant for y'all to reunite, glory be to God. But if it's not, move forward in your life purpose and do what God called you to do and live holy and righteous. You that's watching this video, live holy and righteous. Stop worrying about your kin folks and what they think about you. Stop running to them on a beck and call and all they do is disrespect you as soon as you spend your hard on learning, come and see them. They don't like you, they can go. They don't respect you, they can go. They ain't got to be around you. They ain't even got to call y'all phone. They ain't got to call y'all phone. I'm sorry y'all going through this with y'all kin folks, but it happens. It happens in the scriptures. It happened with the prophets in the Bible. It's going to happen in these last days. Because that's the times we're living in. 
Everybody ain't filled with the Holy Spirit. That's why he said he got to bring a sword to the family, to the, to the household like this. God is orchestrating all this going on. He want to know who's really serving him in spirit and in truth. He said in his word, if you pick your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your cousin, your aunt, your uncle, your husband, or your wife over me as your heavenly father, you are not worthy of me as your heavenly father. This is in the scripture. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not making this up, y'all. It's in the word if y'all read it. You cannot pick your family over God. Let them be mad about the direction you're going in. They ain't got a heaven or hell to put y'all in. Y'all, why you here on this earth for a short time is to get your soul back right with the heavenly father. Because you got a choice to make. You want to go to heaven or you want to go to hell for eternity. It ain't got nothing to do with your kin, folks. Yeah, you came in a bloodline, but you ain't them. Your heart should be towards your heavenly father. And what he got for you, what he wants you to do. That's where you should be at. Before you leave this earth. Okay? Forget your kin, folks. They disrespecting you like that. They performing witchcraft on y'all like that. They doing this weird stuff. They disrespecting you. To the T. And looking at you turning their nose up like you a dog in the street. Let these miserable folks go. Let them go. And don't think nothing about it. Let them go. You know your worth that's watching this video. You know your value and your worth. You don't need your kin folks to tell you your worth. You know your worth. You know what you can't handle. You know what you don't like. You know what you don't you can't take. You know you don't like disrespect. You know you don't like people putting their hands on you. You know you don't like people treating you like a dog. So why deal with these people? Why deal with them? Let God deal with them. Because he going to deal with them. And he can deal with them better than you can. Say a prayer, forgive them, move forward. Let God deal with them in a wicked ways. Yeah, your family is wicked. They wicked. Because if they wasn't wicked, you wouldn't be here watching this. This long after 32 minutes on my video. I've been on this live for 32 minutes. And you still watching it. So that lets me know. That you dealing with some stuff that you know you need to let go of your kin folks. You know you need to let them go. You know you do. Your family wanted, they expect you to deal with foolishness. To uh, Your first abuse was your family. You know, you want to know why you attract certain relationships. See, I had to think about this even in my own life. Some of y'all women, y'all men, I keep attracting the wrong type of relationship to y'all when it comes to romantic relationships. Y'all want to know why y'all attracting negative, just bad relationships to y'all every time you turn around? Look back at your bloodline and how you was raised in your family. Yeah, that'll tell you all you need to know. Look at the people that raised you and how they were towards you. Why are you attracting toxic, negative people and people that don't care about you to you? To, to the extent that you, ha you, you haven't healed from the childhood trauma from your family. I came to the realization of that and why I was trapped in all these negative, these men that really didn't give a darn about me. All these dudes wanted to do was sleep with me and just, just sex me up. That's literally what I was doing with y'all. Using my body and running about their business. But then when I looked at my family bloodline and how my dad acted and how he was with women... I said, no wonder I'm attracting this type of mess. Y'all, I had to shut it down. I had to heal. Y'all had to heal me, y'all. My mom and dad was toxic. He had to heal me from that. Ashley, you attract, you, look, if you keep going down this path, baby girl, you gonna be just, you gonna continue these generational curses. This is why I didn't want you to do this. But you letting your hurt and your pain that you went through caused you to open your legs and have sex with men that don't give a darn about you because you not healed. You can't heal around people that's causing you to bruise more. 
That's like you got a cut on your hand. Some of y'all dealing with y'all kin folks. Another example. You got a cut on your hand. And now you, you slap a band-aid on it. Okay? You slap a band-aid on it. The affection is not leaving because the band-aid, your womb is not breathing. It's stuck on the band-aid. When you remove that band-aid, now that bacteria, you can put alcohol on it. You can heal that womb and let it breathe. And then you can heal properly. You guys are holding bandages. Y'all not healed. Y'all need to heal from the trauma from even y'all kin folks. Y'all need to heal from it. Forgive them 70 times seven, but y'all need to heal because you're going to go out there and attract somebody just like the people that raised you. And then now you, now you, now you in that toxic relationship because you never healed from what your mom and dad did to you. That was me. You never healed from it. Now you sleeping, giving your body up to men, some of you women, because you ain't healed with what your mom and dad did to you. Trying to find love in places that's not there. It's not there. Because you haven't healed. How can God bless you with your person if you haven't healed from the childhood trauma? The generational curses that's on your bloodline. He got to heal you first. God does things decently and in order. He got to heal you first before he bless you with his best. If you not healed, you going to bring that toxic energy into your relationship with the person. And God don't want that. I had to come to the realization of that, y'all. I have to let these folks go. Because... Me dealing with them is hurting me spiritually. Now I got unforgiveness sitting there. Now I'm miserable. Now I got hatred sitting in my heart that shouldn't be there. Because I won't let folks go that show me they clearly don't need me in their life. I forgive them and I moved on. And that's what y'all got to do. Y'all got to move on from your family. Y'all got to move on from if they toxic, low vibrational and miserable and you're going to deal with people like that. Well, you will know you will know now what you don't need to deal with no more. You will know now what you don't need to deal with. Because you dealt with it already. So now you can heal properly. You can get right in your prayer closet with the Heavenly Father, learn his law, statutes and commandments, live holy and let him send the people that's for you in your life journey and mission. A lot of y'all connected to people um, that basically is prolonging your trauma. Y'all keeping ties with people that's continue that that's continuing you from you not healing. You're not healing properly because you're around people that won't let you heal. You gotta heal from the trauma. And if your your kin folks and your relatives is prolonging that trauma over you causing mental turmoil in your mind with their toxic energy that's y'all telling you to let these folks go they clearly not going with your where you're going on a spiritual level they're not going where you're going they're not going where you're going god got something better for y'all god got something better for y'all in store Sometimes he don't even want y'all family a part of y'all blessings. He want to give you your blessing by yourself. By yourself without these people. God don't need the answer to your family to give you your blessings. No, he don't. He's God. He's the creator. He ain't got to an answer to them about nothing. He just wants you to get right in your spirit towards him. Live a holy life. Stop doing what you're doing. Stop sinning. Stop sinning. Receive his precious Holy Spirit and live holy and righteous. It's all he wants you to do. It's, all he, it's really that simple, y'all. I used to make it. I thought it was hard. You know, at first, you know, I thought it was hard pleasing God. It's really not that hard, y'all. It's really not. 
But your sin and folly can make it look like it's hard. It can. It can make it look like it's very hard. When you sinning and doing the wrong thing. So now you you got you you against God because you're in sin and folly. You haven't healed. Now when you heal and become free, now you can look at God in the right eyes, the right way. It really ain't that hard to serve the Heavenly Father, y'all. It's really not. You got to have a relationship with him, though. If you ain't got a relationship with him, how you going to know his ways? And how, what he like and what he dislike? He don't want people to sin. He's tired to sin. Go to the scriptures about sin and breaking the laws of his commandments. You want to be free from oppression from your family? Start serving God the right way. And watch he won't deliver you from these folks that's toxic from you. He will deliver you because you live in righteous. You live in according to how he wants you to live. You're in right posture to God. Your family can't stop that. He will show sure snatch you away from them folks too. You can't respect my child, my prophet, my prophetess, my holy one, my righteous one right now. And I'm a, I'm gonna take them away. He will do that. <laughs> he will do that. Yes, he will. <laughs> he will take you away from the very people that don't honor and respect you. Because he looks at you in a whole different way than how they looking at you. He will remove you. And won't bring you around these folks ever again. So that, that's the reason for my message on today. And yes, this video is long because I feel like it needs to be said. Y'all need to heal. Y'all need, need to be free from y'all toxic and miserable family. And disrespectful family members. Y'all need to be free from that. I hate seeing them type of comments in my comment section. And that's the reason why I went so long on this live. I'm sorry y'all. I mean this is not a live. I, was, I thought about going live on this video. But my lives is going to be Fridays and Saturdays. I already told y'all that the Sabbath. So this is why I chose to do this video today. Not on live. I got a specific day when I'm going to do my live. That's weekly on the Sabbath. So I just, but this video is long because I feel like somebody needs to hear this message based off the comments that y'all putting in my comment section about y'all toxic kin folks. God is showing you all you need to see about them. Do not reject it. Don't reject it. He's showing you that for a reason. Stop going around these folks. You don't know what happened. They could throw you in jail. You don't want to keep traveling miles away to family that don't respect you. And then now you would up in jail somewhere because they want to be miserable. Because they want to disrespect you. See, I wouldn't have let my dad take me that with me. Oh, no. He tried it, though. When he, when, when he decided to hit me. Oh, yeah. When he decided to hit me, y'all. I wouldn't let him do that to me. I'm not going to get thrown in jail dealing with your toxic, miserable self because I know you. You toxic and you miserable. This is why I don't deal with you. <laughs> I'm not going to deal with you. I got better things to do with my time. I knew my value increased when I got right with God. So that means these folks had to go, including my toxic dad. He had to go. They had to go. <laughs> my value increased in the Lord. It increased. Not dealing with it no more. So you got to be careful who comes into your life as well. Y'all really, y'all need to really study who y'all bring into your life. Everybody ain't got good intentions for you. You don't know they motives. Y'all ever see that movie Motives with Shamar Moore and Vivica A. Fox motives? Y'all probably need to watch that. Motives part one with Shamar Moore. Watch that. People be having different motives and intentions and they, they, they not always righteous. All I know is Shamar, I'm not going to tell the movie because I don't want to tell the movie, but Shamar Moore got thrown in jail at the end of the movie. He ain't did nothing. He did some things wrong, but what he did on why he was thrown in jail, he did not do. But there was a motive behind it from a person that he called his friend. Y'all need to check that out. Y'all kin folks would do y'all the same way. So when you ain't showing y'all that energy or different people outside of y'all family that's coming to y'all life with that toxic, disrespectful injury, y'all need to take that as face value. 
If they did it once, they would surely do it again. If they did it six, seven, eight times already, they would do it again. How many signs you need to hear that you need to cut these folks off? How many signs you need? Don't care about how they feeling. Oh, well, let them be miserable. He should have treated you better. You know your value. It's time they know it now. Remove yourself from these folks and walk in the Holy Spirit. I cannot stress that enough. Walk in the Holy Spirit in these last and evil days. And don't worry about what these folks thinking. They going to watch you. They going to monitor y'all through social media. Y'all toxic family. Yeah, they going to do all that. Oh, well, you make sure you live in righteous to the heavenly father. And you ain't got nothing to worry about. Long as you know you doing righteous and you striving to do right, you ain't got nothing to worry about. And that's the reason for my message. And this, if you reached the end of the video, you were meant to hear this because this was a long message. This was a very long message because it's just sad what, how your own kin folks would do you. We see it in the Bible and the scriptures through, with the prophets. It's sad what your family would do to you. The people that you love and call your kin folks. They will be the main ones on the foolishness to stop you and the purpose that God got for you. I'm not going to let nobody stop my purpose that God got for me. At 33, almost 34 years old, I'll be 34 next month, y'all. I ain't got time for folks no more. I don't care who it is. Not even Kim, folks. I don't care. I don't care. I've got a destiny I'm supposed to get to because God gave me a vision about that. Some of y'all got visions from God on what he wants y'all to do. He didn't give it to y'all family. He gave it to you. Y'all need to accomplish that and get it done. Don't let your kin folks stop y'all. They didn't see the vision. You did. So get it done. Y'all have a blessed and prosperous day. I pray this word was a motivation and an inspiration to somebody. And I pray that it helped somebody out there that probably needed help regarding this subject. If you like the content I'm putting on my channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you need prayer, prayer, motivation, inspiration, you got that in me. Y'all have a blessed day, family. Bye-bye.